Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Backstage Pass Talk. I'm Marsha Littlejohn, and we are here at Riverside Theater. And oh boy, you know what that means. We are going to be meeting some of the actors that are going to be on stage. And in this case, I have always wanted to interview these two gentlemen. And I have to say, it happens to be Sigmund Freud and C.S. Lewis. Wow, guess what? That is exactly who they are going to be the moment they step on stage at Waxlax. So let me welcome both of you here. It's wonderful to see you. Steve Brady, you've been here before. I have been here before. I did uh, West Side Story last year. I was Doc. Yes. And then before that, I was here in 2001. How do you like coming back? Oh, I love coming here. Isn't that wonderful? It's a great place to be. Well, now you are playing Sigmund Freud. Wow. I am. Yeah, right. it's, it's a little step up from Doc. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's so much fun about theater. And, of course, it's wonderful also, of course, to talk with David Schmitto. Did I say that right? Schmitto. Schmitto. I love that. And, David, you are playing the part of C.S. Lewis. I am. How do you all feel about that? I mean, these are two absolutely phenomenal individuals that are kind of different, are they not? Very. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And if I'm not mistaken, it is Freud's Last Chance. Uh, the name of the show is Freud's Last Session. And but it's his last, his last chance. chance. Get, that's right. Right. To he, get on stage. But let me tell you something. The most fun thing is, is that when you see these two people on stage at Wax Lax in this wonderful up-and-coming show, which incidentally opens on March the 22nd and runs through April the 3rd right here at Riverside Theater, you are going to really, you're going to be laughing, you're going to be crying, you're going to be thinking, did I really study that in school? So let's get right into this. Have you ever played Sigmund Freud before? Never. And what about you, Steve? I've never played Sigmund Freud either. And, and you are not Steve, you are David. <laughs> well, we have these two people with, with C.S. Lewis and Sigmund Freud. You can understand, because you all change in the middle of the show anyway, don't you? From atheists to Christians to all of that kind of well, stuff? Well, no, this is an argument that these two people are having. A discussion, a debate. Uh, uh, but neither one of them is convinced by the other's point. So we, we open the show. Well, maybe I shouldn't be clear. Oh, I want you to. I want you to. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they when they open the show? Well, uh, uh, Freud is a lifelong atheist. Uh -huh. And uh, he's written to C.S. Lewis because he's, he, he has learned about uh, Lewis's conversion. And he wants to know why a man who was a devout atheist suddenly changed his mind and decided he believed in Christ and in God. All right, my big question to you, will we discover that answer when we come to the Wax Lax Theater and see Freud's oh, last session? You'll discover lots when you see this. It's, 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 a, it's a really a fascinating play, I think. I mean, it, it tackles big subjects, and it brings two people who are very well known for their beliefs and their views, very much in the public eye, both wrote, you know, a lot. Oh, Vol yes. Voluminous. Yes, voluminously. But totally different in age groups. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Fre so, Freud is 83 at the time. Yes. And C.S. Lewis is 40. And you and C.S. Lewis has written some fantastic books as an author. M Mr. Freud, I'm going to call you Sigmund That's Freud. Fine. You, of course, have been analyzing people for years and years and years. Yeah, yeah. So is this what you wanted to do during this last session, is to analyze Mr. Lewis? I don't think that is quite right. He, he is simply looking for this one answer. Uh -huh. Why? Why? Why did it happen? Because he, he's obviously a smart man, a learned man, um, and, and Freud wants to know the answer. Because when I read about it, a little backstory, of course, with understanding that really Mr. Lewis was born a Catholic. At the age of 15, he turned into becoming an atheist, and then he comes back as a Christian uh, from an Anglican church. And this has really thrown you into a tizzy. Well, a little bit, yeah. And, and uh, Freud, at this time, only has a week left to live. Does so, he know that at the time? No, he doesn't know it. He knows he's dying, but he doesn't know it's only going to be a week. Oh, all right, here's the big question. We're going to be sitting out in the audience right here at Riverside Theater during the, this wonderful, wonderful show called Freud's Last Session. When we go on that break, and sometimes they break, and sometimes we just sit there through the whole identical thing, what are we going to feel? 
I, I feel that you're going to be, you're, you'll feel challenged. Uh, I think it's going to create a lot of discussion among audience members. Um, we've discussed, uh, we've talked about it, and I don't believe this is a play that's going to make anyone change their mind necessarily, mm -hmm. whether they believe there is a God or there isn't a God. But I believe that the, the playwright, Mark St. Germain, has done an outstanding job of presenting both sides of an argument, or both viewpoints, I guess I should say. Sure. Um, and I remember, I've, I've seen the show, I haven't done it before, but I'd seen it, and when I left, I remembered thinking, I have no idea where the playwright falls, whether uh -huh. he stands with Freud in his beliefs, or whether he stands with C.S. Lewis in his beliefs. And I thought that was really masterful, that he could create such a, a piece that would make me think so much and yet still have no idea where he stood. Do you know what I love though is just listening to that explanation because in so many cases when you watch the show and you hear what Freud thought and what Lewis thought and, and then you are wondering what it was that the author was thinking and how did he really respond to this. So th it's going to be a very thought-provoking show, isn't it? It should be, yes. It and it's just so. the two of you on stage at the Wax Lax Theater at Riverside Theater opening on the 22nd of March, running right on through the 3rd of, of April. Absolutely fantastic. Just the two of you. So, now, Sigmund Freud, tell me something. Yes. Have you learned anything from this show? I'm still trying to learn my lines. <laughs> <laughs> we are here at the backstage. And what about you? Oh, yes, of course. I think we learn something from every show. I'm still trying for him to learn his lines, too. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but no, I think, uh, I think what I've learned is, um, well, we've had a lot of very good discussions with our director yeah. sure. about oh. Alan Cornell. worldviews oh. and beliefs and, and why people believe what they believe and, and how those views can change in a flash. One last question. Is there humor in the show? Mm -hmm. Not a bit. <laughs> See, they're already there arguing. Rough. There is no humor. No humor. Look at that. Sigmund Freud saying it just like it is. What about you? What do you oh, think? there's plenty of humor. <laughs> I can barely keep a straight face. With I that. even said to you, from what I understand, there's a lot of love, life, and, and, and uh, whatever. What was the other? Well, I don't know about the love. But that's <laughs> that, the that was the one set. we had yeah. the question. But we do talk politics, and we do talk faith, and we do talk life. So it's relationality, so relationship. sexuality. Let's uh -huh. not leave that up. Freud. Okay, all right, that's Freud, absolutely. Oh, well, this is going to be so wonderful. And you must, of course, come to Riverside Theater and enjoy Freud's last session. You're going to just love it. It's on stage, 22nd of March, opening right here in the Wax Lax Theater. Gentlemen, thanks so very, very much. I'm going to go home and read about both of you now. Okay. All right. Well, then come see us. You'll be very entertained. I will love it. Thanks so much for being with us, and thanks to all of you for watching Backstage Pass Talk.